breaking news. A New Jersey school locked down and SWAT teams called in. CBS News' Meg Baker is live at the scene near Crest Hill Junior High, where parents are eagerly waiting for any information on all of this. Meg, good afternoon. That's right. We're at the recreation center where parents were told to meet here to get an update from police. They actually just went around the corner to get an update from police on an earlier incident today. The high school and middle school received a threatening call from a gun that a gun was inside the school building. Police say all students are safe and that this could be a swatting incident. However, the chief of police told me that they are treating this as if a gunman is in the building. The school does remain on lockdown. Now we spoke to parents who received an emergency text alerting them to this situation. Um, I'm not frightened because uh, the kids are there saying that they're safe and it's just that they got an anonymous call. The gun has been found there. So, but I'm just waiting for the information. Yes, I'm worried, but uh, I think I think it should be okay. But I understand that they might be releasing the kids back here and then we'll be picking them up. But, um, a little nerve-wracking? Well, yeah, I mean, this isn't something you want to hear. You know, it happens all too often, unfortunately. But, um, you know, they've been really great with the communication. So we get the texts and you know, they kept us uh, up on what to do. Now, a student, Andrew Dean, was on his way to back to the school when he saw the SWAT team actually fly by him. Now, we want to remind parents that they can come to the Recreation Center for any updates. They are not to call 911. Students will be able to be picked up from this rec center later on today, but the school does remain on lockdown. We'll have updates for you from the chief of police coming up. We're live in Crestkill, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. All right, Meg, thanks.